It's the battle between Microsoft and Google, two tech giants that are paving their way to lead in their AI race. ChatGPT is an AI language model that has taken the internet by storm. ChatGPT, it's a popular online chatbot which is powered by artificial intelligence. And you can ask it to write essays for you, write computer code, even give you creative ideas. And on the other hand, we have Google Bard, who is more like a competitor to ChatGPT. These technologies are changing the the way we communicate with machines out there. So what's the first about these conversational AI systems? Well, they have the potential to streamline and make your life much more simpler, especially in different sectors like customer service, healthcare, and etc. And they even have the greater potential to put millions of folks out of the work. Imagine being one of the 200,000 plus tech employees who were laid off last year. You're already racking up record levels of credit card debt to cover your bills. And you're dealing with record high cost of living. Cost of living's gone up, but what can we do? Just work harder, that's all it is. And now the world's big tech companies are betting on your potential replacement while neglecting a focus on generating revenue. Last year, this created a loss in the stock market which we haven't seen in the last 50 years. And if you think that it does not affect you, you might want to think it once again. At one point, companies like these combined to make the 14th largest economy in the world. So as they declined in the value, so did the portfolios of nearly every investors, hedge funds, and investing platform. And ultimately, retail investors like you and I. But there are always ways to get back what you should have had. Like an asset class that outpaced the tech-heavy S&P 500 over the last 26 years, even when those tech stocks were flying high for the last decade. I'm talking about contemporary art. That's right. It's even outpaced even soaring tech stocks. Now you can assess it in minutes without needing of millions of dollars. Thanks to Masterworks. Masterworks paid off tens of millions of dollars to the investors and that's not one off. Every Masterworks exit to date has returned a profit to investors. Just take a look at the performance. The results speak for themselves. With over 657,000 plus users, Masterworks officially have sold out in minutes. They even had to make a wait list for new users like you. But I've got special access for you folks. You can easily skip that wait list and directly got access to the platform by clicking on the link in the description box below. So what sets Bard apart from ChatGPT? One significant difference is the user friendliness of Bard. It has more intuitive interface and provide users with more control over the conversation. On the other hand, ChatGPT may require some technical knowledge to be used effectively. Another difference is how how they are trained. It was trained using a bunch of different tech sources from the internet like books, news articles and web pages. The idea behind ChatGPT is that it can generate responses to questions or prompts that are similar to what a human might say. And Google Bard was trained on text data as well as structured data. To put it in a simplistic way, the data which is available in a spreadsheet or a database. By training on both types of data, Google Bard has a better understanding of how the information is organized and can generate more accurate responses to a certain types of questions. They were trained using special techniques that help them to learn and how to sound more like a real people as they generate responses. Now, next, how will these tools help us assist in our daily lives or maybe replace us? Business can automatically respond to any customer questions and provide the best answers possible. Bard is especially good at tasks like summer information, translating from one languages to another, or sorting text in some categories. This makes it an incredible helpful tool in industries where quick and accurate processing is important. To give you an example of how BART can be useful, in healthcare, BART can assist doctors and researchers in analyzing large amounts of medical data or prescriptions by identifying patterns and anomalies in a patient data. BART can help doctors make more accurate diagnosis and develop personal treatment plans. So you might be thinking that they're mostly similar. What's different in both of them, right? But there is a difference. The focus 
is on generation and understanding. ChatGPT was especially designed to generate text that is more human-like and coherent, especially in tasks like dialogue generation or one-to-one -one conversation or a text completion. And it will be more accurate and it will more make sense. On the other hand, Google Bard is designed to understand the meaning of the text and generate responses to user queries. Both of these tools have both of the features, but one has a little bit more as compared to other. Bard is excellent in tasks such as summarization, machine translation, text completion. Bard can easily handle it. While ChatGPT may not be as good as Bard in understanding complex text, but it can perform pretty well on most of the understanding text as well. For the time being, it's very hard to say that which one of the two win the race. But with the high-end advancements and the visible competitions between the two, it looks like they're going to continue make changes in these AI bots. As of now, these AI models have their differences, one might be weaker in one aspect and stronger in another. But one thing which is surely common is both ChatGPT and BARD have potential to quick humans out of their jobs. But the one thing is, surely is they both are common. I hope that this gives you plenty of information. If you liked this video, please feel free to subscribe to this YouTube channel and let, let me know what next content which you want.